Lawler. 80% of women say that the images of women on TV, in magazines, and advertisements make them feel insecure. This is stated by the award-winning and international best-selling author Shelby Hitz in the article Media's Impact on Girls' Body Image, written in 2013. We have all felt the pressures to look a certain way and wish we could change something about ourselves. The Federal Trade Commission should require advertisers to place disclaimers on any images that have been photoshopped. Photoshop to be good, I will explain why photoshopping is a serious issue in today's society. And second, I will talk about how the Federal Trade Commission could help solve it by requiring disclaimers. To begin, let's examine why Photoshop media is harmful in today's society. Edited media causes negative body image. It, causes it displays unrealistic and unattainable ideals that are not achievable in real life. Most fashion models are thinner than 98% of American women and are edited even further to make them look skinnier. Girls see these images and think they are real, comparing themselves to them. They often feel they are not pretty or skinny enough. Negative body image is a consistent problem, not just in America. According to the article, Nine Things You Should Know About Female Body Image Issues, written in April of 2009 by Joe Carter, editor of the Gospel Coalition, says that only 4% of women globally consider themselves beautiful. That means that 96% of, of women all over the world do not like the way they look. Negative body image starts at a young age due to the amount of exposure children have to edited media. According to the article, Perfect Illusions, Eating Disorders and the Family, written in 2003 by Virginia Bogart, author of award-winning media, 42% of first through third grade girls <coughs> want to be thinner and 81% of 10 year olds are afraid of being fat. By the time girls are 17 years old, 78% of them will be unhappy with their bodies. Boys are also affected by, so, by Photoshop media. Jacqueline Stanford, professor of psychology at the Deakin University, writes in the article, Sociocultural Influences on Adolescent Boys' Body Image and Body Change Strategies in June of 2005, that boys are becoming increasingly concerned with having a lean and muscular body. Photoshop media can be harmful because it leads to eating disorders, depression, and suicidal thoughts. In an attempt to attain the slim bodies girls see in the media, they may develop anorexia nervosa, an eating disorder characterized by a cycle of eating disorder characterized by self-starvation and excessive weight loss. This disorder can cause kidney and heart failure. Christina Saffron is the co-founder of Project Teal, an eating disorder recovery project. In her article, Christina's Story, Written in 2016, she states that she developed anorexia when she was just 10 years old in an attempt to perfect herself. Another eating disorder that may be caused by a negative body image is bulimia nervosa, characterized by a cycle of binge eating followed by self-induced vomiting. This disorder can lead to irregular heartbeats that cause heart failure and death. A newly identified eating disorder named eating disorder not otherwise specified is the act of going to unhealthy extremes to maintain an extremely low body weight. Why Don't I Look Like Her? The Impact of Social Media on Female Body Image, written in 2013 for the Claremont McKenna College by Kendall Klein, an expert in digital content and social media, says that she developed this disorder when she was a freshman in college after losing weight due to an illness. She did not want to regain her weight and wanted to avoid the freshman 15. She began constantly comparing her body to celebrities and models and carefully counted her calories, eating only 1,500 per day while burning twice that. Constantly comparing herself to unrealistic ideals can cause depression. According to the article, Negative Body Image Related to Depression, Anxiety, and Suicidality, written by Lifespan, an academic health system affiliated with the Warren, Warren Uni Medical University, affiliated with the Brown University, writes in 2006 that teenagers with negative body image concerns are much more likely to be anxious, depressed, and suicidal than those without dissatisfaction over their appearance. We constantly see thin models plastered on billboards, on TV, and in magazines. We think these images are real and that we must look like them in order to be considered beautiful. We believe that having a perfect body will help us achieve a perfect life with a loving spouse, a nice, nice home, and a successful career. Feeling too much pressure to look perfect can influence suicidal thoughts and actions. Suicidal impulses and attempts are much more common in teenagers who feel they are too fat or too thin, regardless of how much they actually weigh. This is stated by Joel Eric, writer for CBS News and author of the article, Body Image Issues and Teen Suicide, 
written in June of 2005. Hannah Carpenter was an 18-year-old girl who committed suicide after becoming obsessed with having the perfect celebrity figure. She had developed an eating disorder and took hundreds of videos and photos of all her body parts to compare to celebrities. She felt that she could never achieve a perfect body, so she ended her own life. Now that we understand why photoshopping is so harmful, let's examine an applicable solution. The Federal Trade Commission should require advertisers to place disclaimers on any images that have been photoshopped. The Federal Trade Commission must pass a rule in order to enforce this. It would ensure that any commercials or advertisements that use edited images would place somewhere on the advertisement that the images shown have been photoshopped. If companies fail to comply with this rule, the Federal Trade Commission will con conduct an investigation and sue the company. This solution is the most sensible and can reduce negative body image. Consumers are able to see when, an, in a, when a model has been edited and are aware, aware that what media shows as an ideal is not real. This solution is also more preferable than others. An alternate solution for photoshopping is eliminating photoshopping altogether. However, this solution may end up hurting our economy more than one would think. Making products and models look attractive is what helps companies make sales. Using disclaimers is a better solution because companies can still have attractive ads, but consumers can see when that the models shown do not actually look like that and their bodies are not attainable. In conclusion, the ne photoshopping causes negative body image. The Federal Trade Commission should require advertisers to place disclaimers on any images that have been photoshopped. Photoshopping is a serious issue in today's society and the Federal Trade Commission can help solve it by requiring disclaimers. With this solution, the 80% of women who feel insecure after watching TV, movies, fashion magazines, and advertisements will greatly decrease.